Hello everyone, I'm Schizo Saint. Today we will be reviewing the CV Life 1 to 8 LPVO. Quick disclosure before we get into the review, this optic was sent to me to review for free by CV Life in exchange for making a review. Other than that, I got to keep the optic for free. So keep that in mind going into the review. Let's go over the features and then talk about whether or not this optic is actually any good. It comes out of the box at 22 ounces, pre-installed in a mount. It has five levels of red and green illumination with a battery pre-installed. It has elevation and windage adjustments in half MOA increments, and it has a actually pretty slick adjustment dial for the magnification, although the lever does have to be installed yourself. It has a second focal plane reticle and comes in whatever color you want as long as it is black. So yeah, this is a very simple bare bones LPVO and at the price of $170, it better be. So is the optic actually any good? I have been running it on top of 30 caliber intermediate cartridge rifles for the last four months. Let's talk about the user experience of this optic. When I first got it, I was honestly pretty unimpressed. I was impressed that it was installed in the mount correctly. I was actually uh, pretty blown away by that. I wasn't expecting that for this price point. However, compared to the prism optics that I am used to running, this thing has a pretty terrible field of view. The field of view gets so tiny at 8X that in my opinion, it became almost unusable. In fact, the 8X is pretty difficult to use anyway because the eye box gets, in, again, in my opinion, even smaller than some prism optics and the 1X isn't great either. The 1X is very distorted around the edges. It was pretty difficult to capture this on camera, but it felt a lot like shooting a prism optic with both eyes open, except it was even more jarring because it was at 1X magnification. It's almost like your brain is trying to merge the two images together, like it does with a red dot sight perfectly fine, but it just wasn't able to. It's usable, but it is just simply not going to compare to 1X Prism sights, Red Dot sights. It's not even in the same ballpark as many other cheap LPVOs, which I will actually touch on that later. I don't know if you could tell, but I really like Prism optics. And one of the reasons I like Prisms is because they are very weight efficient, which this optic is not. This optic comes in with the mount at 22 ounces. Now that's pretty par for the course for a LPVO, but it should be said and it should be understood that LPVOs are gonna be some of the heaviest uh, multi-use optics that you can put on your general purpose rifle. And uh, yeah, it's definitely something I noticed and something that should be taken into consideration, not just before purchasing this optic, but any LPVO. Also, the illumination was worthless. I wish they wouldn't even include it. It barely lit up the reticle at all, uh, both red and green, just totally worthless. I really wish they would just get rid of that illumination feature and save themselves and us some money. So that's really it for the bad stuff. Let's talk about the good stuff. I have had this optic on a 300 blackout. I only shot about 50 rounds uh, with the 300 blackout, but I have shot about three to 400 rounds of 762 by 39 with the AK. And this optic has not lost zero, which is pretty dang impressive. I did not expect that from a $170 LPVO. I also dunked it in snow, which again, it's not something I mean to do. It just happens when you're snowshoeing. Um, and this thing kept the water out. So it is waterproof as far as I can tell for all intensive purposes, at least for the kind of stuff you'll be doing with it. So that's nice. And where this optic really shines, in my opinion, is gonna be anywhere between three to six X. At that range, you get a good FOV, you have a decent eye box, and you have very, very usable magnification. And this optic, frankly, I think it did fine at those magnifications. I even used this optic in a schizo brutality match that I hosted with some good friends when I was out in Arizona, and this optic allowed me to hit my targets. Um, so it works. This is not a piece of junk. It is a functional scope. It's just super flawed. So overall, is this optic worth the money? At 170 bucks, it's gonna be really hard for me to recommend this optic to you. I think for the price, you might as well just save 50, 60 additional dollars and get a primary arms prism optic. 
If you're looking for a do-it-all scope, I think that's going to serve you a lot better, not just in terms of long-term durability, but the reticle is going to be better, the glass is going to be clearer. In my opinion, it's just going to be a more enjoyable experience. If you are dead set on the LPVO idea, there are plenty of good offerings from Vortex and Primary Arms at that same price point. Again, not 170 bucks, but you're going to be able to find optics for like 200 bucks, 250 uh, and I just think it's gonna be a way better use of your money. I have had hands-on experience with the one to six version of this optic, and that one has performed in a similar manner. Uh, a buddy of mine uses it, and I will say the one X is a lot better on it, and the six X is a lot better than the eight X on this optic. So if you are intent on spending as little money as possible on an optic that can do a wide variety of things, that one, in my opinion, would be better. But guys, I'm gonna leave you with this. I would recommend spending a little bit more money on your optic. Your optic is literally the thing that is going to enable you to hit your target. You can be the best shot in the world, but if you don't have an optic to help you or guide you or tell you where your bullet is gonna land, all of that skill goes to waste. So please, I would encourage you, spend a little bit more money, get something just a little bit nicer. And with that, we're done. Thank you, CV Life, for the opportunity to review one of your products. I hope I wasn't too mean. I really was grateful for the opportunity. Guys, if you want to support the channel, please check out the links in the description. I have a campsite link to various products that I review and feature in my videos. I also have Civilian Expedition Outfitters. Some of you have asked about a Patreon. I don't want to start a Patreon, frankly. I'd rather you just buy things from me. That way you get something in return. So please check that out in the description. And as always, please subscribe and like. And let me know in the comments, do you think LPVOs are any good or should everyone be Prism Gang? Have a wonderful day.